Hello there everyone, it's Nick back again, we're on the Commodore 64 and we're going to be looking at Weck Le Mans, um, published by Imagine in 1988. It's a game that came out on the Amstrad CPC and the ZX Spectrum and I really liked it on the ZX Spectrum so we'll see how this one compares. Based on the arcade cabinet by Karnami in 1986, where you take part in the Lamex 24 Hours Le Mans Rally, but don't worry, this review won't last 24 hours. Essentially, you go through checkpoints, I think three to complete a lap, and then the time goes down in segments. Now, I think originally this game was planned to be released on the Commodore Amiga, but for whatever reason, that didn't happen. It's just forward on the joystick and a fire button to go through different gears. Uh, hopefully we'll get through one of the checkpoints and speed this along. So prepare to start the race. I will do. I will prepare. Here we are. There's my car down the bottom there. Go. It's accelerating quite slowly. We're on lap one. You see the time ticking down on the right column there. If you crash into anything, you'll spin or flip over. Whoops, I've gone into low gear for some reason. Right, top gear, 224. Now avoid everything. Slow down if you have to. Well, that car's weaving a bit. Oh, man. Right, that car seemed to weave into me for some reason. I don't know why that was. See, the, uh, there's three la layers of clouds up the top there, so feast your eyes on that. Now, I'm sure there's a system going forward here. I just need to work out what it is. Can you spin off around the corners? Not sure. I think it's just obstacles that uh, uh, prevent you from getting anywhere. Um, okay, so too early to make a judgement on this at the moment. Let's try and drift around here. This is my first ever go on it. So like a lot of these, they will be my first ever go. So we'll just have a look to see if a kid would have gone back to this. Uh, immediately I'm thinking the Spectrum version is playing a little bit better in terms of the skill factor. Why am I going so slow? The car sort of like really um, skids out even at lower speeds. I think maybe I'm being a bit too gentle around here, trying to get a path round the opposing cars. Turbo! Come on, take the outside line, go round. Floor it, big nose, as they say in every Le Mans 24 hour rally ever. Oh man, I've only got about seven seconds left. This is not looking good. It's not looking good. Come on, man. Right, round him. Inside there. Yes. So, um, we'll have a few other goes. Driver retired to the pits, which means I didn't do very well. So there's the red dot. Quite a bit away from checkpoint two there. So will I be able to get round a whole lap in this review? Well, the jury's out. We're soon going to find out. Imagine 1988. When John Lennon wrote Imagine, he didn't have this game in mind. Imagine we can go through a checkpoint, du, 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 even after all. Now, I don't like the way these cars seem to weave into your way. Round one, round two, right, here we go. So I think the secret might be get into top gear and don't slow down around the corners to try and get as far as you possibly can. Oh man, it's like heat, that's like a heat-seeking missile, that. Wowzers. Heat seeking missile onto the front bumper. Come on, man. Right, okay. Um, I think you could probably turbo it around there. There's no turbo button, unfortunately. Just up, down. Oh, look! Re replay that! That's a joke. Right, this game seems a bit flawed, actually. When you're trying to overtake cars and they'll weave to try and crash into you, and that was quite deliberate, that was. If that happened in the real world, we'd either be dead or the driver ahead would be um, banned for driving for life. That's probably going to affect me now. I think about two or three crashes, if you flip over, you're out. Now, did you have this game back in the day? I'm not loving it at the moment just because this computer AI, but if you had it back in the day and loved it, let me know. We do a bit of a spin there. Good animation on the spin. Frame rate isn't too bad, but I've seen better. When you put it up against, I don't know, pole position, it's not up against those. Is it pole position or pit stop? I get those two names mixed up. I don't think it's a game I'll be rushing back to or be any hurry to play again. Horizon's skipping along quite quickly. Not really in line with the, uh, yeah, 
with the road, a little bit of undulation, and we're out of time again. Did we get any closer to a checkpoint two or one? It'd be checkpoint one, wouldn't it? Checkpoint, yeah, checkpoint two, about the same as last time. Yeah, well, um, in my own lone standards, I think we're gonna try and get past the first checkpoint. We're just gonna try and do that. Fingers crossed in what is a fairly average game, I'd have to say. Go! See, look, puts a car immediately in front of me. But it seems to have disappeared. Are we going to catch that back up? Yeah, we are. Right, frowned. Oh, man! What? I was on the circuit then. What did that, that lamppost got on? Who put a lamppost on the Le Mans 24-hour circuit? Definitely not me. 51 seconds. Right, round that person. We need to get used to overtaking. I'm sure there's a, a tactic to it. Right, slipstream this fella. Pass we go. Round we go again. Round we go again. Forward, forward, forward. Right. Now, I've never taken part in a 24 Le Mans rally, and I've never watched a 24 Le Mans rally. I've seen highlights, but uh, I don't think I could stay awake. Um, I like the night stages and all that sort of stuff, and the, your car needs repairing and all that sort of stuff. I'd like to get into it if it was shorter, but then it wouldn't be called the Le Mans 24 hour rally, would it? It'd be called like a Le Mans 2 hour rally or something similar like that, maybe. Right, okay, so we're getting to top speed. Um, once you're in top speed, the car can hold the corners quite well, better than I thought that it would. So we'll just go as quick as we can and try and avoid stuff by random. And that seems to be the strategy going round. Oh, he tried to weave back in, but too slow, amigo, too slow. Gradual um, undulation as we turbo along. Obviously, we've got some great downforce on here, which is keeping the car on the track. <laughs> what was I saying? We're into the air and we're away. Man. Yeah, we're out of time again. Shall we have one last go? One last go. Look, we got, we got closer they, that time. We've got one, two, three, five dots away. What's five dots between friends? I believe if we can get off to a good start, we might end up getting past the first checkpoint. Now, if you're really good at this version, let me know how many laps did you manage to do before all calamity um, um, broke out. It's okay, this guy. Well, is it okay? As he blows a raspberry, not really. Playability isn't brilliant. It's a little bit too difficult um, for me, but maybe maybe we get super good on it. About a couple of collisions. Nah, look, a couple of collisions and that's it really. And we're probably not going to do it now unless something incredible happens. But will something incredible happen in my gameplay? We can keep our fingers crossed. We can hope. He spins around like a washing machine. Right, go fly, fly. Turbo, turbo. Oh, I'm stuck on the corner. I think someone's put chewing gum there or maybe four layers of sprit stick. But that's not going to affect our car, is it? Good, right, round him. It seems like uh, if you slow down quite a lot, you can get round the cars quite easy. But then, of course, your time's ticking down and he's overtaking me again. I just need him um, a gun on the front, really. Look. Impossible. If I had a gun on the front, that would be quite good. So the graphics aren't going to change from this. It's always going to be the same lap. So you've seen the graphic horizon. There's no different courses that I'm aware of on this. Uh, it's more colour to it than the Spectrum version, but I'd say the Spectrum version is a little bit more fun. Uh, this probably moves a little bit quicker than that version, but you know, wet Le Mans. I not, it's not going to stand, I don't think it stands as a classic on the Commodore 64 by any means at all. Oh, out of time again! Someone hit me on the head with a style baguette. No, don't do that. Du, 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 du. I think that's going to keep going into Funky Town, isn't it? Dun dun dun, won't you take me to a funky town? Won't you take me to a funky town? Right, just take me to checkpoint two, that's all I want. We don't need to get to Funky Town. Checkpoint two. Can we do it? Well, hmm. get round him, right? Round the first one. So that's better than we've ever done before. We've gone round one car and not crashed into a lamppost. 
We're at top speed now. No, stop it. Good, that's fooled him. So, pass two. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Etc. You know the song. Keep singing it, and we will go forward and qualify. Oh! Yes. Span round again like a world professional ice skater. Come on, where is the fabled checkpoint two? They, oh, they say it exists, but I'm starting to doubt whether it does. Well, we've lost a lot of time there. We might as well have got out, had a picnic, buttered some sandwiches, had some drinks, talk about old times, and then uh, that was that. Top speed, 224 miles per hour. That's quite fast, isn't it, really? I wouldn't like to stick my head out the window while doing that, but it might be a quick way to dry your hair if you're someone with long hair, maybe. Could you be some person like that? Possible. Keep going into fridge, right, 11 seconds. 10 seconds, come on, where's the checkpoint? I need the checkpoint. Going past a few cars here, love the sound as you go past them. That's it! Oh, I didn't think that would ever happen. Extended play! Extended play! Yee We're off, we're off, we're off. Right, checkpoint, next checkpoint. That'd be checkpoint three, would it not? Now we seem to be getting some top speeds going down now on this part of the track. Oh, he tried to weave in front of me. Come on. Sell them a dummy. Go round. What's this person doing? He's He's matching my steering. Right, where if I stay one side? Get out my way. Lose a lot of speed if you hit the sides there. No! Good round him. Good. This is going well all of a sudden. So, if I had a... Oh, if I, <laughs> why do I say these things? If I had a whole couple of days of practice on this, which I don't, uh, then uh, I might get round the whole lap, I think. So, you will gradually get better at this. I'm, I'm, now I'm getting a little bit better, I'm starting to enjoy it slightly more. Feels like I'm in a biplane rather than a Wex Le Mans car. Through here. Yeah, so maybe worth persisting with this. Um, it's going to get gradually better the more you play. But, even if you get round a lap, the variety's not going to be there, is it? It's just going to be time trials the whole time and getting past one car. That's it, isn't it? Time trials, getting past one car with, at a time, with decreasing that's it well if you like these games you like these games if you don't like them you don't like them um, we can't say fairer than that can we right eight seconds I don't think we're gonna unless it comes up quite quickly I don't think we're gonna see that next checkpoint but at least folks at least we got through one of them hooray right one second oh no that's 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 torn it Hang on a minute. No, I thought it was going to get more time then. There you go. Driver retired to the pits, just like the last time and the time before. Well, I hope you liked having a look at that one. I'm a bit ambivalent about it. I think it's okay-ish, but could be a lot better. Uh, that was Wet Le Mans, um, published by Imagine in 1988 on the Commodore 64, uh, based on the arcade cabinet by Konami from two years before in 1986. Got any comments about this game, any similar games, or anything retro, then please put those below. You're always more than welcome. If you want to help the channel a bit more, it's patreon.com slash njenkin. Every bit really does help those people that go the extra mile to show your support there. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.